Now that everything is really coming along, I wanted to show you these beautiful sunflowers. All getting so tall and so gorgeous. Ugh! Oh, isn't it like sickeningly beautiful? Or is that just my coffee? This plant, this zucchini, took a long time to come along. This is its first fruit right here. And if y'all have been following the channel, you know we've been harvesting zucchini for a little while now. Um, that one's just big enough I could harvest it. I think I'm gonna wait for the end of the day. Get, let it get a little bit more. Look at all these stink bugs gathering and this mating orgy. Do you see this? Stink bug orgy. Stink bug orgy, getting all sexy. Stink bug orgy. And then of course we have our lovely cucumbers. There's one down here too, hiding. For the chickpeas, we really just have to wait for the whole plant to die back. I wanna actually do some research on what people do with these leaves. I wish I could be like, touch it, feel it, it's so soft. I wish you could feel it through the screen. It's so soft. I don't think I've ever felt a plant that was this soft. And y'all have seen our pretty California poppies and zinnias and borage. That's right at the base of these gorgeous sunflowers. The birds are finally starting to die back and reveal that we do still have a living basil that had barely taken off before it got filled up with all these other things. This one is dill right here with the red ants hanging out on it. Cilantro, a lot happening here. I wanna harvest this dill plant to use for pickling these cucumbers because this variety of cucumber is a pickling. That's gonna be a pumpkin. Um, these I have out to cure, if you didn't know. It's, it's really only if you're not gonna eat it that day. It's not that you can't eat it before curing it. You can eat it fresh that day, but if you want it to store well over time, you want it to sit out in the sun for a couple weeks. Now look at how much more we have growing. There's literally so many. That's another one right there, down there. Peppers are now giving us um, peppers. We've done our first pepper harvest and it was super bitter. We also harvested a cucumber from uh, the plants that are over here for um, like a salad cucumber and it was way bitter. I don't like that. That was hella nasty. I think I just needed to harvest it when it was smaller. This is still super bushy right here. I'm not really sure what to expect of what's- Oh! Shit! Hello! What have we here? I don't think this can get any bigger. It's just getting wider because there's stuff in the way preventing- Ow! Bitch! I need some garden gloves. It's all so spiky. Let me get it. Let me add it. Let me. Mm. <sighs> no stink bugs. I want it from myself. Back the fuck up. Yeah. What was that? Oh. She uh, wanted to go outside. Okay. Yeah. And how many times have I told you we go later when there's shade? Maybe five times just this morning? But, I know, look at that pout. Poor baby. She do Oh. You wanna show me the doorknob? You wanna show me the doorknob? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna have to wait. It's not time yet. You have to be supervised because there's a stranger cat out there that attacks you. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot for parent and it's too dangerous for Sophie by herself. I know you're a big girl. I know you're a big girl. But so is that other kitty. It's a big boy. You gotta be careful. 
Stay inside. I know. We'll, we'll go outside later. Later, yeah. Later. cleaned up a little bit over here all this shit was growing up out of this <laughs> you would have seen past content this is done blooming this valerian the leaves are kind of freshening themselves up there my celery's dying back i didn't water enough i've only been watering out here like once a week but it's like already hot and humid in the morning so it's hard to even like find the right opportunity nevertheless Look how gorgeous. And still the beauty in the garden. These ones are coming along. Hopefully they're actually gonna open up soon. Have a little bit more privacy sensing. I know it's falling and I know that I uh, had that too thick, but it's um, working pretty well to offer some shade over here for the chickens. Cause look, it's all torn up by the wind. This is just from the wind crazy right say hey ladies ba, 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 the potatoes haven't died back just yet I was expecting them to actually get like bigger rather than well I mean it's probably not helping that Oliver's walking through here nom 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 on the sunflower leaves I thought they would like the idea of like sunflower leaf but I don't think they care for it that much See, not very excited. They're like, what, what? Let me try again. No, uh, no. Damn, girl. What's going on? This is dying. These didn't get very big. Boo. We got three of them though. Might stay super small, it's okay. Okay, so this is something I'm trying. In there is some inoculated grain buried under some of this that I had sitting out for several weeks and then I just put boiling water over before adding in the inoculated mushroom colony. So I covered it to hopefully keep in the moisture and all this heat. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Seth will sun, so fingers crossed. The other thing I want to show y'all I just missed the bloom. We had our first nasturtium flower, which as you can see is this gorgeous bright orange color right next to our butterfly pea, our blue butterfly pea plant here with these pretty blue flowers, like violet flowers. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. And then I don't have so many of these. They're just like, I don't know, the foliage is doing okay. Some of it's dying back and we just got our first flower. So I'm patiently waiting for more flowers. All the spaghetti squash. Looking good, coming along. This plant, the plants over here died from that we're gonna go of door just for decoration but like look how you can like see that even though they're gonna melt peaches has reunited with the flock and you can tell her comb is getting brighter again she bouncing back being at the bottom of the pecking order for a couple days and she's always been a bird who will stand her ground 
I think that they have accepted her now. 